In thinking about the process of making Neon Ether, I decided I really wanted to go to the opposite end of the spectrum to where we were working with Wildebeest. Wildebeest was really earthy and it was instinctual and it was more about the relationship between humans and animals, uh, humans and machines, the way societies function. So working up some ideas for Neon Ether, we were working with physical ideas to do with our relationship with air on a physical basis. We were doing experiments and explorations that were about visualisation and imagination and creating things that weren't actually there. Crossing those sort of imaginative or psychological atmospheres and blending those things. We were also then drawing in more concrete references like breathing apparatus, things that allow us to have our own atmosphere if we travel somewhere where we can't. So being in a spacecraft or being in a submarine or a deep sea diving suit or things like that. Another line that came out of that was life support systems and being able to survive and so the idea that you carry your atmosphere with you. And we started then sort of extrapolating that idea into what are these connections. A tube from the container of oxygen into the spacesuit or the umbilical cord that connects the mother and the child. By throwing the net really wide in terms of our references and source material, it kind of allowed us to then think of the way that we were working across the process in developing a non-linear narrative that was about the ascension of experience. To go from something that was more strange and blurry and abstract to something that was more clear and defined and in the end for me that actually was a nice parallel with many of the things that we were exploring to do with human endeavour and wonder and all of these things that keep humanity striving to explore the unknown whether that's human relationships or whether that's beyond what we know of outer space.